So what's acceleration? Acceleration is when uh, an object or a thing uh, has a, a force acted on it. All right. Oh my friggin' god! Oh my friggin' god! So what is acceleration? So GGG is accelerating in his car. Then suddenly he thinks, accelerate faster than USA. Accelerate faster than USA. China will go ahead of USA. Accelerate faster than USA. Joe Biden hears that and says, oh my god, acceleration is good, but too much acceleration, he's going to get an accident. Then, about 15 minutes later, he calls in on Gigi Pink. Oh god, why is uh, why do he hear why does he hear an ambulance siren? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, acceleration. Um you may have seen that very recently in my uh, physics intros or in any of my videos intros, I have been recently accelerating these intros. Uh, let me try it one more time to accelerate it. Hello everybody, my name is Tesla from I'm here from Bear Sign Lab and today, okay. So, as you can see, that's acceleration. But well, what really is acceleration? Speed. No, it is not. Of course it isn't. Acceleration is the measure of how much velocity increases over time. So, what does this mean? Well, we can measure acceleration using this equation. Acceleration is the change of velocity, which is v final minus v initial, as you should know, divided by the change in time, which is t final minus t initial. So, this is, mm, so this is what acceleration basically is, the essence of acceleration. Acceleration also has a opposite side. We call it deceleration. And deceleration isn't called D, or that would be ridiculous. Then we'd confuse it with distance and maybe displacement since it's a vector as well. So, with the acceleration, we still keep the A sign even when it's decelerated. Mysterious, right? But what we do is in another way we change it up. Because if you're decelerating, then that means that you are losing speed instead of gaining speed. Let's draw one of those classical cars that you always see cartoons and maybe kids movies. You know, the what type. The type that has no doors, so you're trapped in there once you get in. So, this is the cartoon car, and once it's well, let's say that it's decelerating as soon as it's about a hit of civility. Let's say it's decelerating as it's about to go on a collision course. So, it decelerates as soon as it sees this guy dancing on the road. And so, so what does the car do? Well, once we, it steps on the brakes, it goes from 15 meters per second. And then after 3 seconds... It turns all the way down to zero meters per second. Therefore, making sure that the guy with the weird leg is not run over. So, that means that what was their deceleration? Well, we see it went from 15 to zero. This was our initial velocity and our final velocity. So, what does this do in our equation? Well, that makes the change in velocity da -na 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 negative. So that means that the change in velocity was from 15 to zero would be zero minus 15. So zero minus 15 is minus 15. So we're negative now. So that's how it changes up deceleration. Deceleration, basically negative acceleration. So acceleration is a vector too, eh? Alright, so can have a direction, which is this way, this way, or really any way anything is accelerating, like up a hill. Acceleration is a vector because it can also have direction. Now, let's look at some examples before we end today. To 60 meters per second, hint, hint, Tesla. That's what Teslas can do. Teslas are the best. Ah, oh, I promise this wasn't sponsored by Tesla, but I have to. Okay, no, we don't have time for that. But anyway, zero to 60 meters per second in about, let's say, 
five seconds. But for the Tesla, it's point three. Hint, hint. So anyway, five seconds to go from zero to sixty meters per second. So what was the average acceleration here? Well, um, I'll give you five seconds. Pause the video for more time. Five. Pause the video for more time. Three, two, and one. Pause the video for more time. That's the third time I've said that. And now let's get on with it. So a, the change in v over the change in t. So the change in time was five seconds, but the change in velocity was sixty. Went up by sixty. So that would be twelve meters per second squared because it's meter per second per second. Ah, all right. And now let's look at a car. We don't know what nationality the person inside the car is, but we'll reveal that later. So, that this car has a Chinese license plate and tint. So, this Chinese license plate, and it's going. It is. They're going to the left. I mean, right. It was going to the right, but it is slowing down. So, it was going to the right, but it is slowing down. So, if it's slowing down, which way must the acceleration be pointed? So, okay, five, four, three, two, one. The acceleration must be pointing in the opposite direction if you're slowing down. Eh? Don't tell me you cheated by looking at the board. So, this is the answer. It must be pulling in the opposite direction. Now, I said it had a Chinese license plate, so you could, would probably assume that the nationality of the person in there were Chinese. But who is this person? Xi Jinping. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> this person is Xi Jinping. <laughs> you didn't realize that. <laughs> I got him there. I got the cameraman there. So Xi Jinping is accelerating in his car. Then suddenly he takes accelerate faster than USA. Accelerate faster than USA. China will go ahead of USA. Accelerate faster than USA. Joe Biden hears that and says, "Oh my God, acceleration is good, but too much acceleration. He's going to get an accident." Then about 15 minutes later, he calls in on GDP. Oh God, why is he? Uh, why do he hear? Why does he hear an ambulance siren? Oops. <laughs> well, that one's definitely not something normal. And what type of learner are you? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a, uh, a linguistic learner. So I guess I would say that I learn by reading and then doing practice problems. Oh my friggin' god! So an answer that finally is invisible. All right, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Let's get it. But pondered by Trillian. <laughs> Oops, who could have done that one? Um, I meant sponsored by Brilliant. I think we can undo this kind of trickery. Oh, feel, feel. Sponsored by Brilliant. Now, what is Brilliant? Well, Brilliant is a mathematical <coughs> scientific organization that has many uh, daily problems and has many beautiful courses that show you really the elegance of math and science. Brilliant is a great website if you want to learn more skills. And plus, they have recently hugely funded me to uh, help me change the world by creating 180 websites and of course buying some lab equipment. Wink wink. Alright, and so Brilliant probably also funded this smartboard as well. No, no, we got this smartboard with our sponsorship with Brilliant. But anyway, let's begin the lesson with a video. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.